We are opening the pages of Better Homes and Gardens magazine to show you a great idea for your next holiday party. I'm here with Better Homes and Gardens Ambassador Ryan Durant. Hi there, Ryan. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for coming. Of course. He's going to show us a cool champagne tower. Tell me about this. A champagne tower. This is uh, very exciting stuff. This it's is sure to make a hit at your next holiday party. And it sounds very fancy, but it's, it's really not a lot of work involved. It's easy to do, and it makes a big impact. Okay, so tell us what we need first. What kind of glasses are these? Uh, these are called coupe glasses. Uh, these were very popular in the France in the 1600s and made a big resurgence in the United States in the 1920s. Okay, and they're made for champagne? They are made for champagne. You could um, find them with their stem and their bowl-like design on the top. Okay, and they're not too hard to find at no, local stores? you should stores? be able to find these at your local stores. Okay, and how many of them do we need? Well, for our tower, we're gonna use 14 coupe glasses. Okay. Uh, but if you want a bigger tower, you just keep adding layers to it. So this is gonna be a three-layer tower. A three-layer tower. All right, so first you stacked up nine glasses initially. Yes, and the key is to get them as close together as possible, because you are gonna have a little bit of spillage, but to minimize that, we're just gonna tuck them as close as we can. Okay. So nine glasses on the bottom. We're just gonna start adding to our tower. I'll let you give me a hand here. All right. Let's place them right in between, and we'll just get them to touch, just like so. So this would be great for a New Year's Eve party, if you're doing something fancy for New Year's Absolutely. Eve. Absolutely, makes a big hit. And our main glass right on the top. One on top, okay. And the idea of this is to fill the top glass and it's gonna cascade down to your other levels below. Okay, but opening a bottle of champagne, that can be tricky. It could be, but with the right technique, it doesn't have to be. So that's what I'm gonna show you to do next. Okay. So, grab our bottle of champagne here. And you'll notice what's called the cage on top of the bottle, that's after you remove the foil. And you'll notice a little tab on the cage here. We're gonna pull that out and very carefully keeping our thumb over the top of the bottle because you don't wanna let that get loose. There's a lot of pressure in the champagne. Okay. We're gonna twist it and we're gonna very carefully remove the cage from the bottle. Always keeping our thumb over the top. Then the trick is to remove as much pressure from the top of the bottle as possible. So what you wanna do is hold the bottle at a 45 degree angle. Now always covering the bottle here. We're gonna be placing our thumb inside the punt of the bottle. We wanna twist the bottle and not the cork. And you wanna hear that hiss instead of a pop. And that's because we've taken that pressure off of the champagne. Let's pour it. Okay, so we wanna pour right over the top glass. And the idea is to just let it overflow and it's gonna go level by level until we reach the bottom. Okay. Wow. Second row, filling on up. This really looks beautiful. It is. It creates a, quite a dramatic effect, doesn't it? Yes. So about how many bottles of champagne do you need for a tower? One bottle is gonna get you about five or six glasses, depending on the size of your coupe glass. Okay. All right, look at that second row, amazing. And there you have it. Ryan, this is unbelievable. I am loving it. It makes quite a hit at your next party, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, you will be a rock star if you do this on your New Year's Eve party. Thank you so much for showing us this. Thank you so much for having me. And you can find more great ideas like this in the current issue of Better Homes and Gardens magazine on sale now.